In this special edition of tutorials, we will create the hands for our minifigure based off of a drawing. Utilize symmetry constraints, two-sided extrude, and how to delete features. Welcome to the Learn It channel, lesson 10F. So welcome back to the next tutorial where we will be designing the final element of our minifigure and that is the hand or we're actually going to do two hands here. So let's just take a look first of all at our hands. We're going to isolate that. Let's just hide our uh, left hand and let's have a look. So looking great. This is also fairly detailed, fairly complex, but I think you will get it very easily. So let's create a new design. And again, we are going to save it right away and call this hands. And just like our arms, just like our legs, we've got two hands. So let's go to uh, create new component and we're going to call this our left hand. There we go. And actually, if we go back to our drawings, let's see, is it our left hand that we've created? Ah, it's actually our right hand, but guess what? They're exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just create our right hand, our left hand. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep it as we have it with our left hand there. So uh, here we have some basic elements as well. Let's create our actual hand uh, feature this little section right there first and then we will create the post after so let's do that here our hand is 0 0.068 on the outer diameter and 0 0.055 on the inner I should say the outer and inner radius so let's remember that 68 and 55 so let's create ourselves a circle here and we're going to go 0 0.068 times 2. Amazing. Well, that's fit. And 55 times 2. Awesome. Let's go back to our sketch. And then we have a spacing of 75 thou, and it's half of that from the center point. So let's remember 75 thou. And we can just create a line here. Let's go. Excellent. And actually, we can just go. We can create a coincident constraint right to that point. Great. Do the same thing over here. So our line is not constrained yet. So now we want to make it symmetrical. One, two. Ah, we can't, we need a, a center line. So let's create a center line here. And we can make this a construction line. And then dimension, oh, let's do our symmetrical constraint first of all, one, two, three. And now the spacing of this here is 75 thou. So let's do that dimension from there to there. Let's call it 75 thou. Perfect, finish sketch. Let's go back to our mini figure. How tall is our hand? It's 125 thou. So let us extrude it. Here we go. We're going to go 125 and we're going to go symmetric and whole length. Excellent. There it is. And actually, we're going to change that a little bit. You can see that our post here is offset a little bit. It is 40 thou one way and 125 from the bottom up. So that means it's 85 thou one way and 40 thou the other way. So let's go back to hands here. And instead of symmetrical, we're gonna go to two sides. So this one side over here is gonna be 80 thou and the other 40 thou. So it's actually 85 thou. Perfect. The reason why we did that is now our origin is in the center of our post, which we can create very, very easily. So let's create a sketch and we can do it right there. So you can see this is the center of our post. And what is it supposed to be? 75 thou. And it's 175 
from the origin. So 75 and 175. So let's create a circle and we're going to go 0 0.075. Great. So now it's 175 from there, but we certainly don't want to uh, have this in the middle of our hand, right? So let's extrude and we can go to, well, let's just do it this way. There's a number of different ways that we can do it, but let's go minus 175 and we'll create a new body. So now we actually have two bodies. I'll prove that to you. We've got one and two. So let's join them together. We're going to combine that and that. And here we have our operation of join. Now we only have one body. Now this is really cool. We can actually just select that face. Oh, not that one, sorry, this one. And delete it and look what happens. Perfect. Our hand is pretty well done. Let's just look at our drawing one more time to make sure we haven't missed anything. Great, what do we have here? We just have, if we look at our model off to the side, we have those broken edges as well. So let's go. Here we have nothing specified on our drawing. So let's just create whatever we want. Fill it. Let's um, pick that and this and that and this one. And uh, let's just pick them all. There we go. And let's see what 2.5 looks like. Yeah, 2.5 looks pretty good. Let's do that. Great. Okay, so now let's put our appearance to it. And we're going to type in yellow, enamel glossy, beautiful. Okay, and we're going to, let's mirror it, components. There we go, mirror plane. And we can just pick that one as well. Remember that in the future, we're going to put these into position. Great. So congratulations, we've just finished making all of the components to finish our mini figure. So tune back with the next tutorial where we will assemble everything. See you then.